Color Quota Go 2 offers great flexibility in reordering buttons and folders. You can use one of the three different ordering options to arrange buttons and folders exactly where you wish. These ordering options give you more control over placement of vocabulary, simplifying customization, and improving organization for the user. We call these button ordering options element order. The settings in element order only apply to the particular folder that is open while in edit mode. I'm going to demonstrate how to reorganize buttons and folders. Now I'm going to navigate home. Tap the edit button, the pencil, to enter edit mode. Remember, you can easily navigate through vocabulary while in edit mode. To enter a folder in edit mode, simply tap on the folder twice. Let's navigate to the secondary page of fruits. In the edit window, tap on the views tab. Note that you can enlarge or reduce the edit window by tapping the little triangle on the left side of the window. Tap on element order. Here you see three different options. Alphabetical, this will order all buttons alphabetically. The buttons are arranged in alphabetical order, but as soon as you move a button, it will change the element order to custom order. In custom order, you can reorganize buttons any way you'd like. However, you cannot leave empty slots. If you hold down on a button until it starts to pulse, and position it between two other buttons, and let go, you'll notice how everything reflows to the right. And also, in element order, it changed from alphabetical to custom order. The third element order is free positioning. By using this option, you can position buttons any way you'd like and leave empty slots. So let's go ahead and try to change the fruits folder into free positioning. Note, you cannot select free positioning for folders that have the all sizes folder view selected if you're trying to create a view that has a fixed number of columns. This happens if the current view is all sizes. This means the view has no fixed number of columns, but just automatically resizes its buttons to accommodate any number of columns. An all sizes view cannot be made free positioning, as it does not have a fixed grid to use to position the buttons into. Tap OK to create a fixed column view that is needed to support free positioning. Now you can start reordering your buttons. In grid view, we have three different ways of reordering buttons. Let's reorder buttons by dragging. Tap on the edit button, the pencil, if you're not already in edit mode. Press and hold a button until it pulses, and drag it to its preferred new location in between two other buttons. All buttons will now reflow, replacing your button in between the two others. Let's try swapping buttons by dragging. Press and hold on a button until it starts pulsing, and then drag it onto the button with which you would like to swap it with. The two buttons will now swap while keeping all the other buttons in place. Now let's swap buttons by using the swap button. Select the buttons you'd like to swap. A little check mark appears on the top right corner of the buttons to confirm your selection. Now tap the swap button in the edit mode. These buttons will swap places while keeping all the other buttons in place. You can also select multiple buttons to swap at once. Tap done to confirm your changes. This concludes our video tutorial. Thank you.